another clip here there's no sound but a lot of cuteness calm oh come on that's super cute look at this oh and i think besides the awesomeness again one of those, those clips that i want to highlight just because it looks super cute animation is cute presentation is nice there's a lot of stuff to love my thing would be if you're already doing this it's a tricky thing with cycles and there's a great breakup in terms of the head is looking here and then looking down and looking over a bit i think that's all really cool but it still has that feeling this is so cute the feeling of a cycle with slight adjustments and you know sometimes it's okay to have a cycle it's just if i will put on my picky hat and say well that's fine we have a little cycle here but if you have a, a look like that for this here, I will personally try. I know it's a pain. It was, walks are hard and you get the cycles, you get adjust things, bake things out. It's totally a pain unless you put it on a path, but whatever you do, it's going to be a pain. But if you are looking this way, it would have been cute to then change the path so it's not straight. So there's a little bit of a little bit of a change, right? Let's go straight for all of this. With this look, just a little bit of a move screen right. So from a top view, it's going this way. It would have done a little bit of this. And a little bit of a slowdown because of this. And then you're back. And then with this, going back into the original path. That's all cute. Same thing here. Maybe a slight little change. Or even through this, like, oh, what's the surprise? A slight little slowdown. And then pick up again into this. And even then, it could have been like slow down, slow down, slow down. Like basically slow down here. Keep the slower pace. And then speed up again through here going <laughs> goes back that being said it's a huge pain you got your cycle everything to then transition into different speeds with different directions it's it's a huge pain so it's not like i would be very reluctant giving this note like to a students it really depends on how far they are and how far they want to you know make changes i think this to me is just a general critique for anybody watching if you like that's really cute how could you take this to the next level because this is already super cute. And if someone has the energy and wants to go through the pain, then it will be that. Just making this just a bit more complex in terms of path and timing. But again, there's a lot to love. These expression changes are cute. You got a lot of complexity with this going on in there, with that change. That's really cute. Fappy, super picky. Be careful when you go this way. But then it's not really. Like it feels like it's going this way, but then the body's angled. Like that in a jump, and it feels like now we're crabbing a bit sideways. Especially with this bigger thing where I feel like, okay, but now we got to get a bit closer to him. But we're not. Now we're actually translating screen left. So it's a bit of a cheat here and there, but generally nice and complex. Going across the line here, that, those little changes in timing and then getting out of there. That's all really, really cool. I would just kind of watch out in terms of what it's really doing in 3D space. It doesn't feel like it's a a crabbing translate cheat but it's kind of that's so cute it's just really overall really nice got a little just the changes in the over presentation everything's really great so it really this is just this is awesome <laughs> if you want to go through pain how would you make it more awesome then that would be uh my list of notes in terms of path and complexities and that's kind of that short and sweet just like the clip short and sweet super cute and that's it thank you Alrighty, here's another one. There's no sound. A lot of awesomeness. A lot of really cute stuff there. That's cute. A lot of great complexities. And I think my main comment will be about the dragon. Because if you look at this here, lots of energy already. A lot of usage of space in terms of left, right, and deep into the scene and coming back. Love that little slide there. That's all really cute. Got a lot of cute different expressions. So this is already, love that already. In terms of the flailing and those shapes there. Like, there's a lot of really cool stuff that I like a lot. And it, it, it mostly works in terms of hang time and, and just the mechanics and the timing of all that. Until, until I'd see this dragon. And not that it has to be all for real. And some of those dragons, you know, whatever you're going to watch, they're going to be a bit more of the magical side where they kind of hover, don't have to flap. But it just kind of pushes to me... The believability a bit too much and again i know this is all cartoony but a couple of things of this coming down into really a sharp change in the head but it just it's just a bit too angular it's so even that path thing it's a bit just too straight there i would give it a bit of a nicer smooth out curve and then at least having a flap as like a 
as a stop hover and then it can kind of drop a bit then another flap but just right now it's just it's so magical in terms of i'm just going to hover around through all of this no flaps and then turn again you could just have a flap and just kind of do a flap over to go this way i mean it doesn't have to be all extremely photo real and you know in terms of weight and everything but just a bit more than this i think that to me was the only thing there is is all super cool you can see this here and you frame through that lots of fun moments and shapes it's great this guy comes in like oh oh wow this is really hovering and it's only for that little moment and again i'm going to profess absolute ignorance when it comes to the show and the creatures and how it's portrayed in 2d form it's just for me i would have gone at least with the flap here to stop go up because we also fairly low that can easily be this high with the head this high drop down again with a little half flap adjustment and then a bigger flap over this way and then even then another half flap or another flap to keep the dragon up i think that would have been totally fine and all of those flaps would have given some contrast in terms of line of action as well because it's fairly straight through out all of this right so those up and downs would have helped with some of these curvature in terms of just the body line picky too picky you tell me pokemon fans weigh in but that's probably the biggest thing because the rest is super cute that reaction to the land that run is cute again crossing across the frame or over the frame crossing over the frame <laughs> is really cool maybe not needed that like that in terms of camera shake i think that creature is that heavy sometimes it's a bit too much i think that i would also tone down but it's all cute i love that little foo, foo, coming out and it's just like you can feel like okay and then the next sequence like this this really feels like a nice long action sequence where we just grab a section out but you can feel like there's stuff happening before and after it's all really nicely presented you might argue that with with this maybe the character could have been here and that third to then do so when that happens here i want to use my other tool to continue with this that could have been something not sure you need to be this far screen left over not a huge thing but anybody's going in there for changes why not a little picky thing but the main thing would be this section for the dragon and that's it thanks Alrighty, here's another one with sound. Alright, it's gonna sound off. It's cute. There's not a huge amount of happening in terms of animation. You got that moment. That's kind of cool. Those guys are really super cute, but this is why I want to talk about it, because it's a really cool moment that gets sometimes a bit overlooked. This is probably the most complex part and it's really super cute look at this guy so cute that fall back he's getting ready commanding come on let's go when he gets going on the left that's also super cute maybe careful jumping straight towards us it gets a bit tricky towards a line of action and it's kind of it's more like a visual scale up and i think it could have been a bit more interesting going slightly to the right to give us a bit more of the body some slight curvature change in the line of action and then we got the exit with this it's mostly a lot of effects not downplaying the awesomeness here i love all of this this is super cute especially this guy but it is also a lot of effects but because of those effects this is why i want to talk about it the awesomeness is this so when all of this is happening and this happens i love the reaction on this guy until we see the eyes the last thing we see gets overtaken here then hold reaction and get ready so why am i putting this out because some of the the, the pitfalls in animation is to have a bunch of stuff happening and this could be with effects or not or just the character always moving but there's not always enough emphasis on characters being influenced by an outside force and this could be again an effect this could be wind cold noise whatever it is and giving the character enough time to go through it to go through the either the ramifications of it the 
thought process of it or the reaction. Just let the character have their moment to go like, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, let's go. And I think this is what really struck me with this the cuteness of seeing the face till the end. And then, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Just giving it enough time. Obviously, also helps by not having much movement so that you don't overtake this. You don't want to compete, right? You got three different characters. They all need to have their moment so the audience knows where to look. So that's also a clever moment. You might argue that forces this character to be quiet. But again, you didn't have to do that. And I think it's just a really nice moment of having this creature react to this. And it's just something that's a bit overlooked. Not all the time, but you see it enough where I feel like that just really stands out as being super cute. Giving that character just enough moment, even if it's just in terms of get, letting the audience, you know, see this and that and that. It's just something in general, if you're watching this, just make sure that your character is reacting properly and give that character time to go through that reaction, process things, think about things, and then have a reaction. And if it's a thought process, then reaction, or a physical, oh, oh, and getting back to where am I, oh, and getting back to this. So those reactions and, and giving that enough time can be physical, mental, whatever it is, but it's just something that I think you, you who's watching this, if you haven't done that yet, something to think about and to incorporate that in your next shot. Hopefully that was a good save in, in my crappy English there, but uh, or my, my train of thought being jumbled. But that is that. Again, overall super cute. I love, love, love what this guy's doing here. And boom, super cute. And that's it. That's it from me. Thank you. Alrighty, let's play the whole thing. There is sound. Pikachu! Thunderbolt! Let's go! <laughs> Pikachu! Smack! <laughs> Smack that. Alright, I'm we'll gonna turn that off. We have mostly it's more composition and body movement. And just quick, I would also make sure that if anything that anybody submits, I would just keep it super clean. So it's only the geometry and no camera names or anything else in there. But the main thing I want to talk about was there some cute stuff in there, some good looseness in the body cool effects in there it's nice with the cloth as well and it'll affect at the end this is all very cute my main thing would be and this would be the onion skinning here so once the character goes up imagine that box here and the character kind of just stays within that box at the very beginning here and then once this happens here and even then i mean i like that there's movement out to the right and to the left, even with some slight change in the hat in terms of animation there. That's great. But then this is again somewhat in the middle. And then this again is somewhat in that box. And then Pikachu is also in that box. There is within that, there's some good move or at least some movement. <laughs> but what I would do here, this just feels very simple in terms of that one axis up and down. I'll turn on and skinning off here. And I think it could have been also interesting to have him, let's say, enter in something where it's like that. Where it's a bit more body comes up like this with a slight curve and a line of action. And then settles. And then that settle will have a bit of a side to side because of that sudden turn or something of that overall body turn. And then this is cool. Again, I like this that there is now some movement right and left. <laughs> it's a great frame. Really, really utilizing the actual space in the frame. Watch out, this might just be a bit of a wobble. You can barely see it in real time. So it's something when you frame through it, you see things, but it doesn't quite matter. But that would be my biggest thing in terms of just body placement. And even then, after all of this, it could be and having that a bit more here. So then he has to come back. And when he comes back here, Pikachu would enter from the right into the middle. Maybe my yellow color is not the best color choice here. But everything just feels very, very centered. And maybe that was the purpose to have him centered so that there's a clear overlap and we hide the human character in the back. I mean, that could also be. And maybe that's something, you know, maybe that's true. Why not? Um, generally, I would say it could have been kind of neat to have a bit more left to right, just usage of the space within the frame so it's not all in there. And then the picky notes would be so in terms of silhouette, being careful that we don't have just that hand and then that's it. You got the upper arm and that's that. Like this is nice. Uh, you understand the structure of that arm. And through all of this, it just feels like, ah, that's what I want to see. You mean like you see the full extent of what this is what the arm is. And I think given how much room there is, you can easily just cheat it, bring that upper arm here 
and on that drag we have it here and then it goes down into that just making sure the silhouette is always as clear as possible even this here not having that the kind of short forearm or upper arm and then the wrist coming out of it and that's mostly that again some really good looseness has a good feel to it good usage of the effects as well just when i watched this for the first time i felt like huh okay this is all always very very centered and it's almost a bummer because of stuff like this or stuff like that and all of this like it just to me all the actions are technically in a way so dynamic that it almost demands more movement left and right through the frame and by demand i mean me subjectively saying that would be really cool <laughs> and that's it all right thanks Alrighty, another piece here that is super super cool no sound so i'm gonna make some sound effects or maybe not <laughs> a pew, pew, pew. <laughs> there you go it's overall really, really cool. And I actually only have one note. I always say it is then I frame through it and I find things, but it's just a camera note, a reframe through there. Other than that, it's just one of those that I just want to highlight how awesome it is. The look is cool. I like all this. I like that. If you watch my stuff, you know I love entrances. That's cool. Love that hang time and how the butt goes down first. You might argue, there you go, see now I find stuff, but if you look at the spacing, there's a little bit of wobble there going to the right and then suddenly down to the left. Watch this in real time, it's kind of fine. It's one of those things where once you go through it, like, hmm, okay, maybe that could just be stabilized a little bit more. You might argue that maybe some changes in those nails or the talons or fingers. So it's not just always out, you have a bit more variation where they can come together, especially through here and then on that plant. They can go out, even though you don't really see them here, there, I say. So that would be kind of a comment just for that section through there. You can kind of see it through there until it disappears, which again is super cool. I like that there is interaction and it is hidden behind the grass uh, pieces there. That's all cool. I love the slide back. I love the that curvature and all of this is great. Love that little... That's all cool. Again, I love all this. The mechanics are great. Timing's fun. And I like that too, that it's actually, it's almost feels like a, a, a real camera where it's on a car or something and that character's falling behind and then catching up. I like that there's no artificial slow or rubber banding camera wise. I think that's actually really, really cool. And I love the complexities of that shot in general, of this landing and then having that continuing. So making sure that momentum continues, it'd be weird to have all of this and suddenly bounce the other way. I think that feels really nice. And then with that leading with the head, kind of the butt sliding and having that complexity in all of this. Again, to me, it's more like highlighting the awesomeness of this versus finding things to complain about. <laughs> if it is a complaint, it's not a complaint. It just be a little subjective critique. But I really, really like everything in here. I love the just the, the energy of that move having now stuff zipping by. That's all really cool. Here is the thing. So once you get to here, that's cool. Bit of a crazy dodge angle. Why not? Gives us a bit more room for this, right? If you flatten this out, there would be less room. So this gives us more, a bigger area to fill with this effect. I think that's really cool. I like it. You even have this coming out here. Right into that. That's all cool. But, or and, but in terms of the camera, it's a but. The camera is too low. I understand that you want to be low because this is forming. This is getting bigger, and then this happens. But when you get to it, we're just so low, and it gets very close to the edge here, where I feel like, all right, you know what? I would have had a reframe, dare I say, into something like this. And it's a bit more balanced. I understand that this is now happening at the top, but it's just kind of growing where like that to me would be a bit more comfortable, even if it's just this much in terms of how far, um, you know, how far a tilt change. And then when this happens, this would still work, but then you can tilt up. So that's the effect that motivates the camera to tilt up into this new framing and into another framing. I think that would be totally fine. That to me is the biggest thing. Everything else is really well done. I love the rhythm and the weight of all this. The complexity is all great. But there's just this moment of, all right, we're we're really favoring the lower part here and just kind of telegraphing that this is about to happen. 
and I don't think you need to to lead the audience into this so soon. I also love the effect of these things here. Again, there's a lot to really like. Also, that the trees are out here. That gives us a nice little silhouette of that. That's all very cool. Fappy Super Picky, tree and the ear, slight tangent. It's more of an overlap, but every now and then of a tangent. That's so picky, but again, might as well just bring those trees out a bit more, nudge them over to the right. But I would just wait with the camera and then have the effect drive the camera reframe for this moment and then that. Because now it's really the effect overtaking and, and you know the frame and kind of showing the massive energy. I think that's really cool. I just don't think it's needed here. We don't need that much preparation and like camera anticipation in terms of framing just yet. And that's kind of that. It's just overall a really, really sweet shot. Really, really cool. And that's that. Thanks. Alrighty, here's another one. There's sound. Cute. All right, turn up the sound. A lot of cute stuff there. And I think my main thought here is on this, this the quietness sometimes in some of these characters. It's okay towards the end. I mean, since we have ba -ba -ba, and that's, you know, the end freeze image, why not? But again, when I look at shots like this, and this is for anybody listening, doing their own work, is that you have to make sure, I mean, it sounds like, you know, this crazy rule, how dare you not do that? But to me, it feels like when I look at this, this reaction, that jump, and especially this, I love this here, that move over, taking that weight and the momentum carries over into that, a nice curvature here, going over the shoulders, changing there lifting this up for support so it's not like this and it slides off that's really cute maybe not that tail right there for a tangent right there that little edge there but that to me is a certain amount of complexity that is almost like setting the tone now it's not at the beginning of the shot so if i look at this that's cool although i mean that's already cool and then it kind of dies and then the reaction on Pikachu here dies as well. And then this happens. And especially when I watch this going, oh, ooh, that's really nice. Hmm. Why is that amount of care not put in the rest? That's me asking myself. I'm not asking anybody like, how dare you? Like I said, do this. But I think you just have to be careful when you have such awesomeness here that it's not dying in other moments. When you have this beginning, and I feel like when you have this, let's go maybe because it's you know this is a plushy thing so they're practicing why not have him glance over every now and then like you look and i understand that you don't want to distract from this event down here i totally get that at the same time because she was laying on my microphone here why not have this and then a little bit of a little look a little dart okay and then when this happens a bit of a look up and then almost a little bit of a follow this gets even here that movement up here is basically, I'm going to look here and wait, 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 instead of going, we just kind of follow a bit more with the eyes and the head into that, into that landing here and that effect there. And same thing when you look at, I'm going to, I don't want to drag my, uh, my overlaid camera here. So I'm going to draw here, picture here, all super quiet. It would have been kind of cute, a little bit of a slight adjustment, not a huge tail wiggle. Again, I don't want, this to distract from that i get it but a little bit more keep alive so it's not so completely dead you can scrub through and see that there's something going on but i feel like it just needs to be just a bit more like 20 percent more and then you have this moment of all right let me get there and even this then again a bit dead you can scrub and you can see some breathing something's going on but even then it could have been kind of they both look even if they both would have looked and almost before it hits a bit of a Oh, like something, not huge, but just a bit more than what's there. Because again, I love this. This has a really nice feel, nice timing. So in my greed, I wanted this awesomeness to kind of timeline wise, radiate out and just be everywhere. This is, I'm just being greedy. The other thing about the effect here, it feels like we go up and it's just a bit slow. Zoom. Now. Granted, I don't really watch Pokemon, to be honest. Like, this is me critiquing visually what I'm seeing, but not in terms of, like, a super fan knowing what's going on and knowing all the effects and everything. So, just you know, as a, as a uh, 
full disclosure. So I don't know if this effect is supposed to come out so slowly. Let's pretend yes, and it's not a like a projectile. I understand it's like an energy ball that forms and that goes somewhere. Even then, I would still have a little bit more time and complexity. It's a bit even through all of this. Then it feels like the arc gets kind of stunted because of the edge of the screen. Instead of doing this, it feels like it's going like that. And then this just feels like, why not have a little bit of hang time here? Oh, at least a slowdown. Then accelerate through there. That's my only thing. Again, full ignorance in terms of the effects and how they're supposed to move. So you might argue then why you're critiquing this. Well, I was chosen and that's what I'm doing. But I feel like something is just a bit too even and too simple in all that. It could have been cool to have a little bit of a, a variety, even if it's kind of up and that slow down would have a bit of a like a little slight jolt energy and then come down. Not that it has to like projectile down, but just something a bit less even. And that's it. You got Pikachu on my shoulder here. What do you think? Do I know enough? No, you know nothing about it. That's right. I do know nothing about it. I'm like Jon Snow of Pokemon. But that's it. That's it from my comments and my notes. But overall, there's some really good stuff in there. Here's another clip. There's no sound on this one. But is it cute or what? <laughs> I love it. It's really cute. So looking at this, I really just have one or two things. One for sure. One really, if I'm really pushing it in terms of being picky. But I just wanted to bring it up just because it looks so super cute. I love the presentation. I love that out of focus in here with the little slight lines here. It has a really nice effect overall. Not sure you need this. Implied little uh, birds or something. I don't know if you need that. It's nice to have some movement in there, but I don't... It's just... Everything else is so nicely done and complex with movement that this almost seems a bit too simple. But again, overall, the presentation is really nice. I also like that the foreground is moving. Just a really cute look to the whole thing. Animation-wise, the thing that struck me was right there. It's this moment of pause right there. Where it kind of turns, but mostly stays in this area. And then it continues. If you watch this in real time... I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I don't understand what he's doing there. Why there needs to be this pause. And to me, it's a bit distracting. I mean, it's not like distracting. Like, oh my God, how dare you have a pause. But I still think it's needed. It gives it a bit of a weird of, wait, did I miss something? Did it do something that I needed to see? What happened? Hmm, I guess nothing happens. And then the shot continues. That would be that would be my first thing. The other thing is in terms of, since you got this, this snappiness here, super, 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 that type of timing is like, all right, that's cool. That's the world. That's the timing. It almost feels like, well, since we have such long hang time, this drop through there feels a bit too even in timing and slow. If you watch this getting up, this, and then drop. I feel like, whoa, that could have been an easy, a really a snap exit there. Even this here could have been and not go as far. Now, I get it because you're here and then you have this projectile water thing makes it go to the right. I get it. But then it could have been something where instead of going up and then over to the right, where it feels like we're continuously going to the right, maybe just a bit less to the right. Not straight, you know, parallel to this frame here. So a little bit of to the right. I definitely appreciate that. But maybe just a bit less than here. And then you have that happening, which really pushes the character to the right. And even then, I would give this probably take, even like take this higher, and even this a bit higher, so that you have a bit more snappy down. I don't know if I wanted to actually take a frame out. It's just enough with this here. But I feel like, again, we want to have a bit more of a snappy drop, just a bit. That's all cute. I love the looseness of the set here boing boing and then the with that little roll it feels like it loops right into the next piece so there's really a lot to like it's really cool same thing with this again a little bit of movement in there how that moves around this is all super cute so little things here and there mostly for timing just to keep this all i guess a bit more cohesive and kind of this is consistent in its timing Again, this is super picky because it's not like 
the only thing that to me that really stood out was just that moment just because i felt like i must have missed something i don't understand what the creature is doing there and the rest was just oh that's cute that's fun oh that's cute whoa oh that's nice and then you mean like that's my my overall reaction watching this so it's really once you get into the nitty-gritty and frame through like all right maybe maybe i can complain about this part but it's really overall super super cute and i love it and that's that thanks Alrighty, here is a super cute clip. There's sound. Alright, that's that. Sad and sweet and cute. I love the look, the presentation. Yeah, a little just enough of a highlight, a nice little motion blur, blurred out background. You know, it's not huge, but it still makes a difference. Presentation is really nice. My main comment is that it's a bit too busy in the second half other than that it's cute i like that little anticipation there and then you got the contact that goes nicely around the head and then as you go back it pulls the head with it like that stuff is really cute i love that little raise there in the elbow change in the wrist into that move over for the grab i love that little re-grab the little details even here as you go down there's really a lot of really nice subtle work in there and those little looks like all that is really cool so what is busy then to me it's once you get to this section because you have that look down hold it a little bit nice go up into uh, into that and then it's movement in here head movement in there look dart dart look up and then that's it and i feel like there's a moment where you want just a bit more even if it's here, hold a little bit here, and then get into this. It feels like just there's too much stuff going on in terms of this, that. It's not too bad. It's almost enough with that moment there where we can hold a bit, right? You have that flutter and then opening. But then instead of holding there, you have a bit of a dart and then the mouth moves like, whoa, okay, maybe the next one. But no, no, it keeps on moving. And that, and it's a, it's a small thing because it's, it's not a long shot. And it's overall well done, but I feel like it gets just a bit too busy. And if again, I bring up the sound. Yeah, I think it's there's nothing in the sound here that warrants that much movement. So it could have been just this getting to that, that moment, you know, thought, and then up, hold, hold, and then into this. And I don't know if you want to make the shot longer, it would be tricky with the sound, but you might then sacrifice those darts down and just go straight from this to that it's a, really a tiny thing and again it's one of those that i just wanted to bring up because they are really well done it's nice and subtle a lot of those clips have a lot of crazy action stuff which is also really cool but it's also really nice to see something that's just just a bit more a bit on the sweeter side emotional just more subtle and the only thing is that maybe it's just a bit of a, a, a danger of because there's not that much going on that I'm going to add a lot of little things so that it doesn't die. But I think it's okay to let your character breathe. Like, it doesn't need to breathe here. But, you know, like, let, let the scene just be itself. Or let it breathe. Give us a moment and then you continue on. And it's really not long. It's really just holding maybe this and taking out some of these and going then into that. A small thing, but I wanted to point that one out. But mainly, I just wanted to bring it up. Because it's so cool. And I think it's a really nice shot that needs to be pointed out. That is nice. <laughs> and that is it. All right. Thanks. All righty. Here's another one. There's no sound. It would be kind of cool with awesome sound here. Pew, 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 pew. I'll make the sound for you. Hold on. Why there's a pew pew sound. But well, very cool. And my comments are really just for two little things. There I say. Because again, it's one of those where I actually want to pick it because it is so cool. I love this. I'm always a big fan of surprises. That's pretty cool. If I'd be super picky, I would say let's not anticipate this move with the camera. Wait. Wait until he's here and then have him lead the camera. And then the camera catches up. And I think here it's not too bad. It's starting a bit early. I think you'd be okay having the character get to this point. And then we go down. Rest is cool though. My comments are actually just for this impact and this move here. This is all cool. I love all this here. Into that. That's cool. Effects are cool. The set looks really nice. 
with that. I love that little. All right. It's a classic thing here. Hat over into this and that. I think that's all really, really super cool. So my comment would be, because you have some really nice timing with hang and drop, right? And then I can see why for contrast, you want to go hang time and let's go, 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 go. But on the other hand, I feel like it would have been cool to go. It's a moment of landing and slightly, slightly out of control with maybe a bit of a hang time, some flailing, either arms or legs or both, and then landing into this, and then it goes crazy. That will be my my biggest thing here. Because so you have that. And maybe if I be super picky that that speed i mean again i can see why if you don't have hang time and it's just an overall speed that it can run at that exact speed here as in not landing with a slight slowdown and then picking up speed even though that would have been kind of cool so i could see how this could work this is really a very subjective point here where i feel like that would have been kind of cool i almost expected with a bit more of hang time you can have that backpack drag maybe even the hat stays up there and comes back down that would have been kind of cool yeah, it's mostly that. And the other thing is, is the set thing. Because you do have nice pieces here. You have all of that going on here. You got effects here. All that is cool. So then it would have been cool. Because you do have a little or something in here pushing this off. It would have been cool to have more of a... Almost like... I know there's a slide. But a bit more of a moment of impact. Where you can almost have the body a bit higher here. And then... Pom, pom, over two frames the upper body slams down and then you have those white pieces puffing out this way a bit here with a bit more little pieces trailing and then landing and then the rest is that that's literally it because i really like the rest and again it's more one of those pieces where i want to highlight how cool it is and i want to bring that up here this is all very super cool i like the whole here maybe maybe that stopped there right there there's a little bit of a spacing hiccup beep, right there and then it go continues a little bit a little bit of a hiccup there you know like picky little things here you might argue through at the end here you could have some tightening in the fingers to really feel that uh, that grip and stop but overall i think it's really cool the only things to me that stood out it's just poof. i would have loved some puffing here if that's a word and a bit of hang time it doesn't even have to be the same as here just a bit Again, I can see the argument of contrast of, well, hang time here, but not here. But that's kind of that. It's very, very cool. My subjective two cents, as always. And that is it. Thanks. Alrighty, let's play this. And there is sound. Turn on the sound, lots of craziness, and it's really cool. And I really have only something for this section through here. It's very minimal, but I also wanted to pick this one just because it is so cool. It doesn't always have to be, hey, change this, but also, hey, this is really cool. Love that beginning too, in terms of that wipe into this. And we, we immediately caught on action with something happening here. I love all the deformations, this going up here. <sighs> Grabbing that is so much fun. I love this. And then lands on the other side. If I be super picky, maybe with this. Given that this is going to be in layers, I don't know how this is rigged. If it's rigged at all, it's probably just one piece. But it could have been cute to bring, squash this a little bit. And as it goes up here, even with like a slight more complicated rotation, not this, but a little bit more something where it's not always at this angle. Just a little bit of a change. And then I'll, as that hang time happens, you have a slight separation of the buns and the meat and everything kind of separate. And then this will push it back into what it is there. That would have been kind of neat. Little detail things. And even here, squishing it maybe like that. Although, is this a burger? It would be like a... I guess it's a burger. <laughs> so that would be for me. It's a little slight details there. Because there's already a lot of really cool stuff in there. So why not continue... And push the whole thing a bit further slight picky things here i would just not have this either you go further and really overlap the shell with the tail but not stay so close for those almost tangents and tangents 
That's all cute. I love all this. I also love the timing of that. Boing. Into that. The biggest thing to me. Actually, before I get to it, the rest is also really cool. I love the change into this. And I love how it goes into that. With that exit, that's really cute. If I be super picky, slight changes between his arm. Like you have that, that's really cute. I know it's supposed to be minimal, but then you do have all of these changes and offsets and asymmetry and everything. So might as well go from here, and that land would be not so straight, but body just a bit more rotated over. So you're going from this down there. Right, well, not that extreme, but not so straight. You know what I mean? Just a bit more like that. Picky, picky, picky. And I love the exit here as well. That's all really cute. My main thing, so besides the awesomeness, and because it is so awesome, I think it would have been cute to go back here. And when this happens with the arm, and I know it's supposed to be kind of like, Fa -pow! I'm just grabbing it. I'm so cool. But I think it would have been cool to do, even if you do this, choo -choo, to have a slight move over, slight lean over on the overall body and the shell with either the head as well. Or the body goes over a bit and then the head counters with the rotation this way. But something where that arm is influencing the rest of the body a bit more. Except that, that little rotation Y is just fine, but just a bit more. I understand you want to be all limited and cha chungs all cool. But even here, that compression would have been kind of cute. Even if it's a couple of pixels, something in there and something in the head. Again, only because... This is not simple. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there in terms of shapes and timing and complexities and everything. And then I feel like I think we just went too far in terms of limited stuff. Again, it might just be me. I mean, they might argue that when he goes down here and then starts drinking. Again, maybe a slight change there in rotation because you have one arm. So it's not just this, but maybe a slight little to the side. Again, I mean, it's not, not that you have to make this all for real. Because then you're opening up a can of worms of, well, but if you do this here, the bigger move on that arm, then why not also, again, have a bit more in the body? Actually, that is my argument. I would say <laughs> add this everywhere. <laughs> but, and it's, I don't know, to me, it's mainly because you have all those complexities and the awesomeness here. And it feels suddenly like, hmm, now we're going really limited with this. And then that. There is a bit in the head. I think that helps that it's not just super limited in here but it could be just a bit more in here might just be me but that is mostly that again it's, it's a really cute shot i love the look of it the camera moves set pieces the changes into this and how it ends here i think it's all super super cute so a little subjective comments here there all right thank you all righty here's another one no sound let's play this in full and it's not super short Lots of cute stuff, and all right. So super cute. I love that little hop hop. I think that's very cute. I love that you got that little, hmm, what is this with a slight rotation overall, body and head, moving back a bit. This coming out, ready to probe it. Got a little squint in there, that's cute. And this moves, that's so cute. I love these, blop, blop, into that. That reaction and then this so my picky notes would be because there is the cuteness here there i would just add like an extra layer of asymmetry so to speak so if you have the legs coming down you can have one of them even if it's by a frame or probably two frames but even if it's just by one frame a little bit of an offset because there's really cute complexity through there in all the axes and i think that plus a little bit more on those hops would be kind of cute and then the other thing too is that when this happens in that move i think it'd be kind of cute to have the eye line go maybe from here to low here so a little bit of an eye dart down so because of a slight change of focus and then here i would delay what the head is doing you can see it's doing something but we don't quite know it just yet but the head and eyes are already going up i think to me they're just anticipating this a bit too much i would wait lead this by maybe two frames and then you have a bit of a sharper reaction than this so take whatever you have here but condense it it gives it a bit of a sharper look up like an adjustment there and then even here it feels like the down of the ball a bit too in sync with the body here I would again delay that on the creature side slight offsets here if 
feels like there's just one enough here in this leg, the front one, but I would still push it just a bit more. And then once you're here, which is all cute, given that he kind of lands somewhat out of control, it's not really out of control, but more like, ah, I want to swallow. It could have been cute for complexity's sake to also have a slight lean on this side, the creature's right side, maybe those legs, and then on that finishing move, it would kind of roll back. And even during the, maybe that, that section through there, there's an ever so slight feel of one axis roll, and then that's it. Same thing with this. I think overall giving this a bit more on this one, like one side, come back. And then when you have the uh, uh, that into this, it could also go with a slight rotation in Y body and head so that you have this. So you kind of move over to the right, come back. And there's a bit of a where the head kind of rotates over so that when you go into the pull into this moment here, let's go back here. When this closing happens, you could have, since the head would be a bit more turned towards us, the closing would then also have a bit more in Y rotating back into this pose. So you land, whoa, going, whoa, what is this? Puh, into this, and then that's that. Just slight more complications in, or complexities, not the complications, complexities in the body. And also watch out, you can see this here, especially in the scrub, arms moving back at the same time and a bit too in sync and twin there mirrored. So a slight offset there as well. And even if you go back here, imagine that on that move back, you still have a slight side to side roll so that that move back would have a slight shift onto this side, this little butt cheek here, so that there might be a bit more compression in this leg. So this will go down a bit, slight rotation, roll, rotation, rotation and uh, roll. And just that paw with a little talons here going in and then this leg will come up a little bit so you can feel that it's not just in one axis but rolls on all the axes just giving us a bit more complexity mainly because you have it here so to me it's always kind of a, a consistency of animation style and timing throughout the shot if this at this point the character would just go down and look and just be in one axis i would mention it as well to say hey let's have more complexities everywhere but because it's here already, and the way the character moves, I feel like, all right, that's a good precedent. This is going to be how the animation is going to be overall. And then it's kind of missing towards the end. That is kind of that. So short and sweet. Short on my end, hopefully sweet. And that's it. Thanks. Alrighty. No sound here, but let's play it. It's very, very cute. Oh. That's <laughs> super cute. Short and sweet. And actually, my comment is going to be just for the ending. But the beginning is very cute. No, that's all cute. I like that. There's a bit of a drop this way, but also a slight rotation in there in the head. Nice little subtle complexities. I love how as the head moves, again, it doesn't just go one axis. There's a bit more complexity in there and it does impact the shell, some ambient movement in the limbs. I love when you have <gasps> that, you got that. <gasps> movement into this so that offset asymmetry for the get up and then you can see how it shifts over to the right side with the shell moving i think this is all very cute like the little squash into that lift all super cute look at that face very cute but <laughs> and this is why i'm mentioning it it's because all of that complexity the awesomeness everything here that's so super cute i wish it would have continued here and by that i mean once the walk starts, I see a slight change in the arms, right? A little bit more to the side, then maybe a bit more close with a slight change there, but it's not huge. Generally, if I just look at this, up and walk, 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 it's all kind of the same. And it would have been cute to have, if you already have a bit of a lean this way, that then the next couple steps are a bit more leaning this way, and then the last one would be go over. So again, having a bit more complexity and variety in all of this. You could even potentially extend it so that it's not here, but exits screen left. So that you could have potential bit of a, <gasps> like a little up, step, step, hold up, and then a faster move. It's kind of like, <gasps> tick, 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 that kind of rhythm. Picky, 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 but mainly because the beginning is so cute and complex. Nice and subtle, really awesome stuff. And I wish, ah, we would have continued here just a bit more. Not saying that this is not cute, it is super cute, but I think as an exit and as an end, 
It's almost a bit of a awesome, awesome, awesome. Ee, a bit like that. Might be harsh, but I wish it was just a bit more complex and it, it pushed in terms of personality at the end here. That is tricky. Walks are hard. But it would have been kind of cute. And literally, that's it. Because the beginning is so well done. I really like it. It's all very cute. Good timing. It's just that end. So short and sweet and short on my end and hopefully sweet as well. All right, <laughs> thanks. Alrighty, let's go back here. Play this in full. There is no sound. Bling. Short and sweet. A lot of these are short and sweet. And the reason why I'm picking this one, again, it's like a half-half where half is really, really cute. I love it. And the other half is me picking out picky things. <laughs> so mainly, when I look at this, I think it would be cool to have either some objects in there or maybe some lines even if it's something where like you know some mountains in background or something and the reason why i'm saying this is because if you look at the horizon you can see when i scrub through this how there's a change so i see some movement but then i don't know if this is you know the camera only rotating in z and that's it or is there a pan in there as well that we don't see and that's why i'm mentioning having pieces there because if you have objects or lines and there's a pan we will understand and see that and right now we don't and I'm saying this because if you look at the spacing of this shell, there's some specific pauses. I just feel a bit odd. I don't know. I don't subjectively. I feel like why have pause pause? It feels like you want to make this one, one swooping motion. Unless you would have a slowdown with a little bit of a jump, slow down, a little jump, a little wiggle or something, something where it's not just texture and time in terms of move stop move stop but add a bit more to it to really understand what is going on and right now i feel like there must be like a sudden move in the camera sudden pan over that kind of cancels out the move screen right of the shell that's my guess i don't know but it feels like hmm. i mean one thing you can do is move over here in one continuous move or speeding up, but then have a pause through there where it's kind of like, and then move over. That could be something. If you want to add variety and texture in that timing, so it's here, pause through there, versus right now we have kind of a pause here, pause here, and then it continues. That's all cute. I think, again, I'm not sure. You have that move over and then it suddenly goes over there. Is that suddenly in the tilt up with also a slight move over a little pan in there or is that just the animation and if so then i would just kind of smooth that out and not have that big that move over it is not huge just even if it's just a slight one frame smoothness because the thing is you have visually if i bring up on the skinning that is in here and it's somewhat in the same spot and then it pops over but it also kind of sits in the same spot again and then it pops over to the left again. And I think that in real time, just it's, to me, just a bit jarring. <laughs> Where I think we can smooth that out a little bit. It's a bit more on the pickier side, but... Yeah, something in there. And then the last thing to me is, because of all the awesome complexity in terms of direction, I'm, I'm all for movement like this. Movement where you use this space left and right, and even from the depth coming closer. I think that amount of complexity... Would have been cute to see here and by that i mean when you're here and those legs pop out so it's not just a translate up over but a bit of a potential offset one of these legs and maybe if one of those legs comes out sooner let's pretend this one is sooner than little stump the other ones that will give us a little bit of a rotation in y and then the other ones shoot out with another counter rotation wider so it's not just pop up like that but a bit of a rotation in here as well it's kind of like a like a little bit of a a little bit of bigger complexity in all axes in terms of rotation for that. And that's that. The rest is all cute. That's okay. Everything's here in frame. Works pretty well. It's in the one of the thirds. I think that's all cool. Uh, to me, it's mostly some of the timing issues here and here. And then a little pop to me, at least there. And then just the complexity of that just could just be a bit more complex and interesting than just a straight up pop up there. Because then you got a nice little offset in the leg here. All of that nice little stretch. So I feel like all that awesomeness. Let's add more, more awesomeness, and add it in that little moment there. 
All right, that is that, short and sweet, thanks. All righty, there's no sound on this one, except awesomeness and cuteness. It's short and sweet. And I mainly want to bring up this section through there. And to be honest, that's kind of that, because the rest is really, really cute. I love that little hop, even from the very beginning, got nice asymmetry in all of this. It's design in general is just really, really cute. I love that little problem. That into getting, ah, uh, just a cute shape. This, if happy picky, could be kind of cute to have, and that hit happens to have a bit of a, a bigger influence in this, in terms of this head is rotating and everything is leaning, but the pivot feels like it's just rotating out of that middle versus rotating and translating over with the lean over this leg, if that makes sense. So you hit, the head goes over, that pushes and translates so that the body is a bit more like this in terms of the angle of the legs. And that little off balance moment would then be fixed by doing a quick little pelvis triple jump just from the back with a slight adjustment on the legs. So you have kind of like the head and the body kind of boop, boop, a little overlap, kind of a bigger reaction to this. So it's not just that. I don't know if there's enough time, if you want to really keep the timing of this and going into that, but I think it'll be worth exploring, adding a couple of frames so that that rotation, like I said, is not just pivoting off of here, but kind of more from the side with that lean. And then you can still do that, which is cute. I like the eye darts. I think what you could do is given their size, not that a head has to follow eye darts. I mean, like just because the eye moves doesn't mean that the head has to move with it. It's almost like, like bird movements. But I think given the size of them and the amount of, especially through here, of the darts, it could have been kind of cool just to have a little bit of head move up to the left, a bit to the left, just a bit. And not this where it's kind of that preparation into that, but just a bit more distinct. The head is moving because of the eyes. Again, I'm hesitant in saying, and I'm not saying that, you know, the head has to move whenever eyes are moving. But in this case, I think it could be worth exploring. That's all cute. I love that little preparation, getting out for balance and then whoa wobble and then that attack i think that's all really cool especially seeing this here as your last frame I think that's all really cool the biggest thing or the main reason why i'm going to pick these two reasons a because this whole thing is so super cute and then the second part is this where you have a fairly cool unraveling with this doing its separate thing i like that with that slight overlap there why not i can see that but then we're getting a bit into tangent area for a couple frames here and there. And then it just gets a bit too mirrored, even though we're finishing this here. Again, I, if you are already in charge frame by frame, I would avoid even on, on a, in between some of these tangents. But the main thing is that they just feel very mirrored. And even this, the timing when they go down. And I know that this one is higher than this one, but it's just an overall feel of, hmm, gets a bit too mirrored and moving as one. And I like that. And I feel like oh, if you could just keep that kind of feeling. And even if it's this where you do keep a bit of instead of this, a higher position like here. And overall, just grab one of these and offset by two frames for one of the moves. You know what I mean? Like this could be offset. This is now ahead two frames. And then a bit of a hold. And then this is ahead two or three frames. Just kind of breaking this up a little bit. And even this, that shooting. Even if it's just one frame, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel that slight difference there. And I would probably keep with this one and start with this one. So this one will be a bit higher. And you got that here, giving this a bit of a that fall, you know, flowing right into that move. That's kind of that. Again, it's a short and sweet clip, and the critique is gonna be short and sweet, but it's super cute. The whole beginning. I really love it. This is so appealing here. I love that moment there. So little complexities here and there, and that is it from me. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go back and play this whole thing in full. There's no sound. Into this. All right. The reason why I picked this one, there's some good detail at the beginning with the complexities of the foot coming in at a tilted angle and then kind of sliding and changing the pivots. I think there's some good stuff. I think once you go over there, and you add that weight shift over there. There's a little bit of rotation that's kind of cool, but it could have a bit more in here. Imagine that shin rotation, that pressure and all this would have a bit more impact on that backside 
of the foot. It's a tiny little detail, but since we are so close to detail, you know, show, focusing on the shoe, I think that will be kind of neat to add. But the main reason, there are two things I want to point out. There's some cool stuff through there, like a lot of complexities and movements and a bunch of stuff. And it almost feels like it's too simple to cut straight into, not cut, but get straight to a slow motion moment where not much is happening. Even here, you could have maybe a little bit of wobble in the tongue or a slight change of maybe the eyebrows start lower and then end up that high. Just something where it's it has a bit more life than just through there. Just because the beginning complexity kind of gives it that, that second part a bit of a, just not, not the same amount of a love like at the beginning. But the other reason why I want to bring up this clip is this. Just because it's fairly common, and I see this a lot, is that when you have something like this, so you got the forearm moving a lot, there's nothing really happening in here. And you have to be careful generally in terms of biomechanics when you move a certain area, it could be a, it could be a hand, it could be just the forearm, it could be the whole arm, it could be a leg, whatever it is, all of that is going to have an effect on the rest of the body. So that type of movement is gonna to have to have a little bit more movement in the forearm, or in the upper arm. And because of that, maybe a slight tilt down and adjustment in the head. It's all very fast here, but still, I think that would be nice. And even at the beginning, when you have that kind of bigger movement through here, I like that there is movement in the upper body, but it has a slight feel of evenness where it's here and it gets to this, but the timing is fairly even and doesn't seem to be influenced too much by this, this faster move here. It feels like, well, it's leaning over because we're lifting the arm, but you could add a bit more complexity where it's, I like this, I like that hand goes up, it pushes up the shoulder, that could have a bit of a faster turn or rotation over in that chest with a slight slowdown. And then when this happens, that bigger move here, you would have a bit of a bigger uh, rotation in there and a rotation in the Y in the chest as well. Just making sure that that movement of the arm is really affecting the rest of the body. And that's kind of that. It's a short and sweet, but it's just something that's very common in terms of body mechanics. Something to watch out for. Anybody watching this, see so if you do move anything, in terms of even like here, you got the leg moving, making sure that everything else gets affected. So I'm not, you know, in this case, you move the leg, it's going to influence the hips because of that, it's going to influence the chest and the chest is going to influence the head and so on and so on. Just like a general thing about body mechanics. And that is that. All right, thanks. All righty, next up this one, there's sound. All right, I'm gonna turn off that sound. It's all very cute music. And the reason I'm picking this one is because of the overall cuteness and especially this. There's, there's less for me to kind of critique. It's more like I want to highlight some awesome stuff. The biggest thing I would say in terms of critique, also because this contact is really nice, I really feel that pushing, that interaction is really cute. And even though it's a fluffy tail, it would have been kind of neat to have a bigger influence so that when that tail wraps around, a, that surface is angled and it's not flat. So if it's flat and that tail goes around, that's fine. But if it's angled like this and you bring that tail around, there will be a bit of a move up as well, meaning that that might be just a bit higher in my awesome drawing here with that tip of the tail. So we kind of wrap around and go up a bit given this angle and a bit more of a shoulder push and a slight change of the body rotating this way. Slight, again, I'm not saying this tail is just as strong as this snuggling here, but a little bit would have been cool. And also because there's all that awesome complexity, I love this little bloop, little plop, that going back, and I love that little timing and then going forward with the lowering of the head. And all that is really super cute. I love this. It would have been cute to then have a bit more here, as in that is the beginning with this. And then when this happens, Maybe a bit of a tilt over, maybe a bit of a drooping of ears or like a little change in facial expression. Just something so it's not, if I scrub through, you can see once it hits this area, this pose or just that moment, you can scrub and nothing really happens besides the ears. But even then, the ears, they happen when the tail wraps around here. So from here on, there's some keep alive, which is always great, but I think you can have a bit more so that it matches the complexity of this. Basically take this awesomeness and add it to the end 
So this is a bit more. You could have a bit of a pull on that tail, which maybe pulls this guy over there. A little tilt, a little change, a bigger smile. Just little things so that it matches that first part. But going back to that first part, it is really, really cute. I think maybe one other thing could be if you go forward and you can see, even if it's closing of the eyes just like that, it could have been cute to have something here. As in, that's fine. On that jump, maybe a slight closing and then reopening so that the face doesn't feel like it's the same thing throughout. Even this, like a slight little change if possible. And then going to this. Even if it's something like that, that cute little... Chick -chick, little blink. That's all cute. Again, it's mostly because all of this here, that going back with that little hold here, and then that rah, that timing and all of that, it's just so nice that it's just my my greedy <laughs> my greedy critique is that take all of this awesomeness and just keep going at more here and a bit more at the beginning. And that's that. Short and sweet, but just like this clip, it's sweet. And that's it for me. Thanks. Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. There is no sound, but cuteness. I like it. And pew, pew. all right. Actually, speaking of sound, that's one of the things I want to talk about is timing. There's some good stuff in there. There's an overall good feeling of timing generally. I would just push things here and there. There's something that has a repetition and that at the end, that drop. I think the camera is nice and subtle. I mean, subtle, I mean, it, it does reframe, but it's not crazy. Even that push in has a little keep alive, comes out. It, it, to me, it doesn't draw attention to itself, and that's pretty cool. I like it. It's very effective. In terms of timing, phew, there are a couple things. I think that's pretty cool. I'm looking at, that's an arrow. <laughs> Actually, perfect. If it goes out this way, I'm going to switch over to another tool. You have to be careful in terms of the angle. If there's a slight... Slight feeling here, it goes this way, and then it gets a bit this way. And then towards the end, we have a bit of a move this way, despite the character be pointed in a different uh, direction. So just a little picky thing. I'll be careful in terms of following that path. Even though it's doing this there, I think it would be okay to have that character a bit more angled and aligned with that path. Now, timing-wise, I feel like we could hold this just a bit longer and I will probably either have a little piece here and then take this and actually move it over here. It will be a nice silhouette. You can see this here, it's so dark in front of this, that's nice. And there, not that it's bad, you can still tell what's going on, but then it's blue on blue with some detail there. And since you have control over the background, why not just move it and just keep that a very clear silhouette? Even if it's kind of a, okay, it goes down here, a cheat where you know, the ice is like this, and then it's kind of broken <laughs> there in the middle. But just for a nice, clean silhouette. But I think I would hold this just a couple frames longer through there. Just a little bit, so that the drop is just a little bit more accentuated. Not huge. Mainly because this and all of that has a certain amount of speed and exaggeration to it. And I think that's why even here, especially this one, this one to me more then this one here i would have longer hang time for that snap down because it's nice and it's good energy there but i would keep this up a bit longer a couple of frames hold and then come down and then the other thing does repetition it's just a bit one two three four i like that there is a gap at least that then you have a grouping of this sometimes it's just a bit more elegant to go one two three but at least there's that it's not a huge thing again it's because it's one two three and four it's better than one two three four there's a bit of a change but it could also just be that again this is a minimal thing it's not huge and it already has a little bit of a tiny gap between two and three so it's not too bad it just a picky thing it just also goes on for a little bit long i don't think we need that fourth one Subjectively, I mean, again, it's a minor thing. Overall, it's really cool. And this is why I picked it. I think I really liked it. I like the background. I like how all this works together. It blends in fairly well, even though this seems fairly real compared to this. But I think it's not too bad. Usually, I would recommend to have that type of style even in the background and not mix the details too much there. Does that make sense? 
So you can look at this and go, hmm, that's a photo and that's not. But I think in this case, this works just right. If I be picky, I would still take it out and just do something like this and rebuild this in the background to keep it like that. But again, these are super picky notes. Generally, I really like the feel, even though I would exaggerate it and push the timing just a bit more. There's a really nice feel of that drop and then that slide. I like the... And then how long it takes for the character to whoop, wait a bit and the turn. I think that's all really, really cool. So yeah, that's why I picked it. Some really cool stuff I wanted to highlight. And also a little two cents, subjective two cents of uh, things to push here and there. All right, and that's that, thanks. Some men are born into greatness. Others have it chucked at their face. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs>